Yeah, you know, when your body is cold, its first response is to keep itself warm. And that means shutting down non-essential areas, which unfortunately mean your hands and feet. Of course, the problem is that makes you more prone to frostbite. And as the cold drags on, like it's going to in the next few days, your body can't compensate anymore. And so your body temperature falls, which leads to hypothermia. Our bodies generate heat on their own, which is why layers are so important to preventing both frostbite and hypothermia. The layers help maintain a gradual difference in temperature between your warm body and the cold outside. But keep two things in mind, though. Layers fail when they get wet. That includes wet clothing from sweating as you exert yourself shoveling, for example. Also, your ears, nose, fingers, and toes that stick out aren't as easy to protect even with layers. Two common things that put you at higher risk for frostbite is any prior frostbite and any vascular problems, even the ones related to high blood pressure or diabetes. At current temperatures, hypothermia can occur in hours if someone becomes unconscious outside, but it's more common in elderly people who are in poorly heated homes and aren't active enough to generate their own body heat. If you have elderly relatives or neighbors, check in on them. Now, another thing I've seen when it gets this cold are people that get caught unprepared in their cars. They think they're going from a warm garage to a warm car, then a warm house, for example. But if they break down or they're in an accident, the cold can get the better of them pretty quickly. Whenever you leave the house, always prepare to be in the cold. Yeah, that's an important point. And, you know, I'm aware of at least one case already at a Henry Ford Hospital facility related to drug or alcohol use and hypothermia. So, you know, over my years, I have seen plenty of young people who have drank too much and ended up with hypothermia. Unfortunately, the signs of hypothermia, like confusion, slurred speech, or decreased alertness, are actually very similar to being intoxicated, and it can be hard to tell the difference. We're putting live from Henry Ford Hospital. I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge. Back to you. Yeah, Doc, actually, I, I guess people often co uh, convince themselves that a drink will help keep them warm, and it can go beyond that. Absolutely. Drinking is the last thing you want to do in this kind of weather. First of all, it dilates. It opens up the blood vessels in your skin, meaning you're going to lose heat faster. It also obviously impairs your judgment, so you're going to be out cold, out in the cold longer. And you may feel warmer, but I guarantee you are losing body heat faster. Alcohol, worst thing in this kind of weather. Yeah, great advice. All right, Doc. Now, important to know that with this cold being as dangerous as it is, there are places to go warm up. Yes, we do have those places. And right now on ClickOnDetroit.com, we have a complete list of warming centers all across southeast Michigan. You can find the link right on our homepage.